told you like when you grab my ass. No one's grabbing my toes, nigga. <laughs> 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 What's Gucci ladies and gentlemen? Today we're gonna be reacting to when angry teenagers attack cops, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm not gonna lie, in my early teenage days, my early childhood days down in Texas, I've had my fair share of altercations with the police. I'm not gonna say I was a criminal, I was not a juvenile. I was just hanging around the wrong people, but also at the same time, ding dong bitching and shit was just mad fun. <laughs> Hey, bro, you can't blame me. But one thing about me, though, I was never and never would be disrespectful to the police because if you be nice, I'll be nice to you. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and let's see how these teenagers treat the police. Today's episode, you'll meet an aggressive 18-year-old girl who thinks she can take down four cops by herself. Oh, oh boy. Yo! That's not gonna happen. Yo! A serial thief who believes a personal search is gay. You grabbing in my d No one's grabbing you your grabbing in my ass! No, Yo! No, I can't an entitled minor Yo. who forcefully tried to stop the arrest. I feel like that's bad OD. Like, no cases. need for all that. But first meet Jaden, formerly known as Amanda. He is in the process of transitioning from female to male and oh is boy. extremely aggressive. Jaden threatened his current girlfriend's ex-husband with burning his house down along with his children, prompting the concerned ex-husband to call the police. And I is that Jaden and Amanda? Jaden or Amanda. I, don't know if I would beat the goofy out of my f What the f Yo! Legally changed her name yet? Or if she still goes by Amanda? She's doing that transition thing. Oh, jeez. Go threaten my wife and kids, nigga? That stuff for school. The f Because their main physical animal. Wanna be treated like a nigga? I'll treat you like a nigga, nigga. I'll over right here on uh, Beverly. Okay. And I asked him for it, and he said no. And that's no disrespect. You just don't threaten my wife and kids, bro. To burn my house down with me and my kids in it, and I yeah, you got me fucked up. Just completely, because this ain't the first time this guy's done it. All right, so about how many times <clears throat> has has he done it, and do you have proof that he's repeatedly done it, and you've told him to stop? Want to fight? I'll burn your house to the ground. Keep it up. I just want my kids today? to stop. And try to say I'm the negative person for that. What would you do in that situation if somebody threatened to burn your house down with your wife and kids in it? Oh wait! And literally, yeah, not even three, ten minutes three. ago, okay. or whenever the time is. Okay. I literally just want my kids stuff. All right. Because yeah. I've been I've been paying for the house. Yeah. It's literally right there. So we'll go over and check it out. Okay. I will warn you. She's a very violent person. Okay. So be warned. <laughs> so you guys have had look, before, obviously before they tra transition. Very violent person. You guys were in a physical. You guys had a physical relationship. Who? You and Amanda. No, 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 no. Oh no. <laughs> She's with my kid's mom. She's with my ex. Oh, my wife. okay. We're still legally married, so my wife. Gotcha. So okay. Just, they've been fighting since yesterday. Bro. My mom go pick them up. My ex knew that as soon as Fun fact, Amanda would get home. I used to live in a trailer park. And now all my, most of my I lived in a trailer park with my dad, and, and it was like my dad's home, friends and stuff like that. Caleb because we were helping this old there, man who like owned the trailer that we were living so in. They're fighting uh, that's right now. Yeah. Which Kayla would be here now, but <laughs> she's in the hospital because yeah. of this whole I mean, it was cool. Yeah. Very interesting arc. Every time I would rake leaves, there was a dead bird in the leaves. Every time. It was very short. It was not for that long. Jaden, come on out. Jaden, come on out, man. Jaden, come on. We just need to talk. Oh. Well, he is. He's not coming to the door. Jaden, Stephanie, Dayhart, the Sweet County Sheriff's, outside your house. Please come to the door. We need to talk. You are not under arrest. I'm not here to take you into custody or anything. Yeah. You need to come to the door and talk to us. Jaden, I know you're in there. So listen up. Come to the door right now and explain your side of things. You will be charged with harassment and a criminal summons will be put out for you. So that means whenever you are found and met, you will be brought to court. You understand that? There's charges. So it probably behooves you to come outside. Come outside and talk. All right, then harassment it is. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All I heard is oh, 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 like that one meme. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Posing an immediate threat to others or himself, the police decided to issue a warrant entering the home, which would require a warrant or exigent circumstances. A criminal summons is a legal document issued by a court or police officer that requires a person to appear in court to answer charges. This means that as soon as the police first notice Jaden somewhere, he will be taken to court for harassment. So, Jaden achieved nothing by ignoring the police. 
Jada just sees his ass whooped with a whooping. With a, I mean, with a belt. Perfect. She's not immediately going to get arrested, but that means I'm going to submit this paperwork to the court. The court's going to say, okay, go give her a criminal summons. Now listen, if you go back over to 126 Cedarwood Drive, you'll be trespassed, okay? It's another violation, another arrest. Just wanted to make sure you were aware. If you have any questions, give the sheriff's office a call. Listen. Off my property. Now he's going to tell you again. Uh oh. I could be here pursuing uh -oh. my job. No, you can't yes, be I here. Can. No, you can't. I'm here Goodbye. to tell you that you're formally Goodbye. Trespassed. Oh, wait. First of all, yo. <laughs> First of all, his t-shirt screams, I had the criminal gamer picture on an Xbox 360. You're like, come on, feelings, I don't give a fuck, is a today. Wait, what? Over there, you're gonna what the fuck is this wrestling? Oh, <laughs> feelings, I don't give a fuck, is today. <laughs> Wait. Don't give a fuck. Get off my property now. Oh my god. Goodbye. What are you gonna do about it? This is like the superior oh, Halo player right here. Oh, okay. Okay. This is the definition of a Halo 3 player right here. That will talk hella shit over the mic. And I love Halo 3. Get back in your house. I don't have to. This is my yard. So I'll walk into the Your yard. Do you pay bills? Alright, well, don't come back. Because if you do. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. Oh. It's my house. Oh. Oh. Pursuant to my job, I'm allowed to be on your property. You can't. Excuse me? Get the f away from me. Excuse I'm me? On the road. I don't give a f Do you need to be it's free land. I can walk wherever I want just like you can, right? Okay, so am I right or am I wrong? No, you're just pushing it. You get the f away from my house. I'm not on your, I'm not on your property. It's still my house. You're still right here. Hey, goodbye. There's something else. Yeah, you, know you are. <laughs> Listen, if you go back over there, I ain't. Oh, 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 what's up then? Oh, you want to be a big motherfucker? We can be a big motherfucker on set. What's good? You got feeling. Oh, 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 you better represent the law. Hey, hey, that cop is a real thug. He represented the set on God. What's up? Oh shit! Oh shit! Yep. Oh yep, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're cooked, buddy. This nigga is stupid as. Get your Oh, you keep, bro. You keep adding more charges onto your case. You're under arrest. Oh oh oh! That's what. Beep, 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 beep. What's up? What's up? Oh! 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 Boy, oh my god. You're under arrest. Get out of your stomach. Get off. He said, fuck off. Get on your stomach now. Yo. That's what happens. That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I ran into a fair share of people what? like that. Oh, oh my man. god. Exactly like him. I ran into a good amount of kids that were exactly like that in my child or my teenage okay. like life. You know the crazy part is I've only ever had to fight racist kids. I've never had a problem with niggas. I've never had a problem with any other race but racist white people. That's crazy, am I right? I'm not saying he's racist or anything, but this is still funny. <laughs> Because they were like, yeah. They come from the same genre, basically. Quit their shit right now. Do not with us. Blow me, bitch. And you think they just make them go numb and tingle? You said that there. Not the window down. Yeah, I keep an eye on one of those. Those are threats. aggressive behavior and the harassment of his girlfriend's ex-husband brought Jaden many those charges. Are threats. Battery on a peace officer, resisting yep. arrest, harassment, yep. criminal mischief, and obstruction yep. of governmental administration.
And now take a look what it looks like when the police catch a reckless driver in the act. Ooh. Turn <coughs> GTA action, let's go! Yeah, turn it off! Step out of the car with your hands up now! Oh shit! One at a time! Get back in the car! Get back in the car! Get back in the car! Oh now. shit! One you just get on back in that car, bro! Don't make me ask again! Walk back now! Fast forward and walk back! You're gonna get changed if you don't listen! Back up now! Back up! Get on your knees! Tell me about it! Get on your knees! Get in the car. He Get looked like car. he did something. Did I sit in here? Did I start her? Thank you. You did. <laughs> you have any ID, ma'am? No, we live right here. Okay. All right. You don't understand what's going on? Can you, you can't drive like that. Let me speak. Okay, speak. Let me speak. speak. First of all, we just got out of Walmart. The mm -hmm. light was shut off. We we're trying to go home as fast we as possible. We heard you. We heard you. Relax. Re There's relax. no. We We're have no what? arms. We know our laws. We have okay. no arms. Nothing that can endanger us. You're and driving he recklessly, anything. though. He wasn't driving recklessly. Okay. He was walking right. straight over here. Do you have any ID on you? I can go get it if you guys would not you treat my any? boyfriend like he's a criminal because he is not. Okay. And you're not gonna do that. Okay. Because I'll call my lawyer have, right now. Okay, that's fine. I'm just asking. Do you have an ID? I'm not? telling you, I can go get it from home, but you're not gonna okay. treat my boyfriend like he's some criminal. I'm not treating your boyfriend like he's he a criminal. He just did, and he just did to me. Okay. Too. All right. Because we just had a situation at Walmart with racial issues, and we're not gonna do it again. Okay. Well. I know my rights. And he, he didn't need to do that. Nobody's like making anything racial. Okay. He did not <laughs> do that. Drive he didn't need to have him. his pump. He's not doing it. Then we can go He's ahead and arrest him. He's not doing anything illegal. Okay. Was it me or that? Does her boyfriend look That's white? All right, just hang tight in here. Okay. Like, is it just me or did her boyfriend look white? I don't know. The suspect named Axel was aggressively driving his car in a Walmart parking lot. That nigga's white. Off down the street at high speed. Such an act is considered. Or like, how like? Light. And this is exactly I don't know, bro. why the officers drew their weapons upon first contact. Stopping reckless drivers is often considered high risk, so officers are always on high alert in such cases. Axel's Can't girlfriend really Alex Mar is obviously not aware of this, and soon she will start making a scene. Because he has no, no arms, no nothing to be to making him okay. treating like he needs to come out with his arms up or anything like anything. No. My dear. Yeah. I just told your officer that my ID's at my house. If I do want me to go get it, I can go get it. That's why her name is uh, Dead of Birth. J A L I X M. This car, buddy. Oh, he mixed. <clears throat> He's mixed. I just want to use common sense here. As to, I'm going in a straight line in fourth year. I want you to use common sense when you're driving like the way you were. Bro, <laughs> you really passed me when I was in third year. I'm not your bro. You know what it was, bro? Homie was in the whip. <clears throat> he had his girl in the car. Bro was trying to show off. Was driving hella fast. He's like, yo, I got me a little sports car. You feel me? He was probably like, yo, we first saw the Walmart. Urgh, got caught by the police, lit him up. And now he's trying to act like it wasn't his fault. Probably the case. We heard you from Walmart. I have a straight. We pocket. heard I just you from that. Walmart. You were leaving Walmart. You were driving without. Any, you were driving without any headlights. Hey, you squealed tires. Come huh? Oh. How do I pop my trunk? Can I show you? What I say? <laughs> I swear I never watched this before. Calling it down Beer Street, doing over sixty. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you, okay? <laughs> Are you guys taking him too? Yes. Resisting? Resisting. Like he resisted. I guess, I guess he gave him some lawful orders. But I seen him put his hands up. Papi, cállate. Papi, cállate. Cállate, por favor. Quédate callado. So the Spanish. And the last. They're not gonna manhandle him. They're not gonna manhandle him. They're not gonna, him. They're not gonna, they're not gonna make they sure they treat they him right. The well, make sure do. they treat him right. Papi, get in the car easily and you'll be fine. I just keep him shoving him. You don't need to tell well, me to listen to what we're saying. You're not gonna tell me. <laughs> She's being hella OD, bro. Black <laughs> cops don't do that, bro. Again, regardless what's happening. Regardless of nothing, you don't need a manhandle. He can get in the car by himself. Nothing. I see too many of the shit. Too many. One my family. You're not gonna do it again. Leave me alone. 
Get out of my way. I'm not talking to y'all. Oh, I'm God. making sure that he's getting in the car. That's, that's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine with his own will. That's perfectly fine. And I, okay. Do you see me walking towards the car? No. I'm witnessing because nobody's going to move me from here until my car, my boyfriend gets in the car by himself without nobody pushing and shoving him. Bro, he said he estimated my speed with his yeah, eyes. Like, Somebody's coming somebody to pick up my groceries. Don't worry. You guys can all back up from me now because I don't need y'all help. And you don't need to be looking to the car because I don't need to be looking to the car. Hey! Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! And that Damn, was that's what happened. Completely lost yep. her mind and provoked her own arrest. Yep. Actually, the police weren't even searching the vehicle for potential evidence of a crime, but were conducting an inventory search, which is done to collect all the personal items from the car so that the vehicle involved in the criminal act could be towed away. So she freaked out for no reason. <laughs> oh, no, Relax. Touch me. Oh, I'm not even El momento. She waking up the whole neighborhood. And why is she saying racism? Those cops are black. She's making no sense. This is Holly Quinn right here. Jail, that's enough. I'm done. I'm done talking to you. Shut up. What's going on is they're going to be charged with uh, reckless driving and resisting police. So those are the charges that he's going to have and then she's going to have resisting. Okay. That's they food now. <laughs> okay. So it would be, I don't know, uh, if they do like 10% or whatever it is, could be 500 bucks, could be a thousand for both of them to bond them out. Or they'll stay the night and then they'll get released in the morning. Tow truck's here. <clears throat> The officer just explained yeah. everything. Axel was charged with resisting without violence and reckless driving while his girlfriend Jolixmar only got a resisting without violence. What are you doing? Nothing? Alright. Uh, That's <laughs> the whole thing could have been avoided, bro. Jesus. You been stuffing stuff in your pockets? No lie. What's your name? Jake. And that's why, and I'm speaking to my black people out there. I know it could be annoying, but just let the cops talk. Let them do what they gotta do. And just get going. You feel me? Especially if you're driving in the middle of Texas, in the middle of Buck nowhere. That's real. What? Why? What did I do? You got stuff in your pockets, right? What did I do? They were, you've been watching on camera. You see all the cameras in here? They're watching you break stuff open and put them in your pockets. Break what open? Well, what do you got in your pockets right here? You got anything that's going to poke me or anything? No. What's this? <laughs> got socks. Are these yours? Yeah, they're mine. Yeah? What else you got? What about this belt? Why is this he look like he stole some shit. It? No, that comes with the tag. It comes with the tag? You're supposed to take, you don't take the tag off? No, that don't come off. Okay. Phone cases. Uh, man, I ain't trying to... You ain't trying to what? Violate my probation. That's all I'm... Okay, then what are you doing? Nothing. I'm just trying to get... Like... What? You're, you're taking stuff. Oh, no, no, that's my wallet. There ain't nothing in there that's brand new. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. Right now, you're just being the same. Come on. To begin with, the suspect's name isn't he's just, but he's Kaim, snitched on himself. And he had a good reason for giving a false name, but the police will find that out later. The 18-year-old is currently suspected of theft because surveillance cameras caught him taking items out of their original packaging and stuffing them into his pants. Now, the police and Walmart's loss prevention department will take him to an interrogation room where the police will find out that this isn't Kahin's first run-in with the law. This is my charger right here, right? Huh? Looks like it. Yeah, it looks like yours. Hold on, hold on. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. No, no. You're good, man. No, nah, that's gay as hell. It's not gay, dude. Relax. It is gay, fool. Relax. Stop touching my fucking dick. No one's touching your dick, bro. Bro, we're all men here. Act like a man. Nigga, act like a man. You touching my dick. That's no one even came close to your dick. Don't, get no Don't fuck, steal bro. shit. I won't have to do this. 
Why, man? Why you, gotta, why you be at, gotta act like the bad cop, man? What's your address? What? You just keeping it cool and cool, huh? Just trying to handle this. We're trying to handle this the best we can, but I need you to be cool and be honest. Yeah, I'm always, I'm always like that, man. Hmm? That phone number? Nah. Whatever. I thought you said you had a phone. So you don't have a phone number? You got a phone charger? I hate when people say that. Just because I got a phone, though. You got a phone charger? So you took a phone case and a phone charger and you don't have a phone? Took a phone case, not a charger. This charger right here is mine. You took your charger. What you're doing is is not right. It's it's breaking the law, right? <laughs> yeah. You said I took. So <laughs> but I don't break the law just for no reason. I break the law to... Well, the stuff you took is not stuff that people need. It's not food, water... Anything that sustain life, it's just because you wanted it. Taking four phone cases, nah, a phone it. charger, need those it. are not things that we, that people need to survive. So if it was like you were taking clothes, food, water, stuff like that, I then took, I can understand I it. I took clothes. Clothes. You took some socks, yeah. Yeah, which I don't. F that. <laughs> I, I took clothes. Why would you admit to that? I took some clothes. <laughs> While Kahim was convincing the police officers that he stole a phone case and a charger I took because clothes. he needed them to survive, another officer went what? to check his details in the vehicle, and it was discovered that Kahin has three arrest warrants in three different counties, which yeah. is enough reason for them to arrest him on the spot. You like is, playing around? What is that game that I'm playing? So you go to jail because you got a warrant. I got a warrant right now. Yep. Bro, how? Because you have a warrant. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Can I at least call somebody, hit a phone? We'll see about it. We'll see what we can do, man. But I got to figure out. I got to con confirm in the warrant right now. I ain't have a warrant. We're trying to make sure it's clear. What, what, from where? I'm not at the computer, am I? I'm standing next to you. I'm just, so I'm working on it with my partner. I'm just asking the f question, well, you dumbass. That's, that's your problem right now. You show no respect, so you get no respect. I'm trying to show you respect, and then you, you haven't shown me any respect. No, you yet. show. You, I show. I try to show you respect, and you come <laughs> I, I, aggressive. I, I, <laughs> Sorry, so you don't like my style. I, I apologize. Went home. <laughs> so right now, you are you are being detained for the fact that you stole stuff, which is illegal. It's retail theft. Okay. Um. So right now, that's under under 150 dollars. So that would be a compliance ticket. Wait, you said 150 dollars? I'm not to pay that. You, what, you, what you're going to get is you're going to get a $150 compliance ticket at this point for that theft. And then you're going to be banned from coming back into any Walmart. Any, any Walmart. Any Walmart because you are coming here and you did a theft. And they don't want that on their property. Okay, the, you have a couple of warrants. <laughs> 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 what the hell was that? Uh, you didn't go to court a couple of times and it looks like on a few of them. Which one? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm waiting on the, my dispatch to get back to me. Just to clarify, a compliance ticket is a penalty issued for minor offenses or violations, and basically it is a citation. This is somewhat unusual and the suspect is lucky that the officer decided on just a monetary fine equal to the value of the stolen goods. However, we've already concluded that he lacks respect and therefore cannot appreciate this good gesture from the officer. So during the arrest, he will become violent and hit the officer. Ah, ah. Always makes it worse. He stole some chapstick too. Do not dig down my pants. Do not dig down my pants. You want to get another charge? Nigga, do not dig down my pants. Nigga, fuck you talking about. You're not going to be touching my head. Do you want to keep playing, bro? Bro, do not dig in my pants. You got shit your fucking pants. I will get it. Nigga, get That's not what we do. Get the fuck. Bro, no, I will grab it for your ass. No, no, you need to act like a damn adult right now. Got it? Nick, you grabbing in my dick. No one's grabbing you. You grabbing my ass. <laughs> no, I can't show respect when you grab my ass. No one's grabbing you. Oh, Nick. Yo. <laughs> Remember it. Hey, what's your best number? 287. 287? Yep. 
I'll remember that. Okay, it'll be on your report. I showed you, told you, you show me respect, dude. That's all you have to do. I showed you respect till you try to stick a finger on my ass. Mm. What have to do? That's all I wrote for these, all these blue big fingers up there. Yeah. When you want to kick people and you want to act out, that's how you get treated. Well, you think I'm gonna sling at you? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> Why the fuck are you so aggressive? Get the fuck off me, man. bro. <laughs> ah, ah, I'm suing y'all ass. I'm not dead, dog. I'm not no threat. I'm not shooting no guns. I'm not killing nobody. And you treating me like this. I should beat the fuck out of you. Here's the thing. You do what you're told to do, and nothing goes that way. Uh. This is crazy. I understand. He did that upon himself, bro. I have no place to put it. So I just went off, walked over here. Uh, Next thing I know, I was on the floor. That whole situation was the stupidest fuck. Knocked me down. Are you okay? Um, I, I think I'm okay. She knocked me down twice. When she wouldn't let, let me in the door. And uh, so she was at the door trying to keep me from closing the door here. Okay, so we need to talk to you though, okay? I'm not talking. What's that? I'm not talking to anyone. Okay. That's why I'm leaving. Okay, well, we need you to just come talk to us, okay? Well, and she's the one who attacked me with a broom first and threatened me. Okay. What would you with the broom is crazy. And then we will discuss that and you can fill out a statement for us. She started it. But that's not what I'm saying right now. I'm saying come into a car so that me and you can talk. Okay? <laughs> you do that for do us? Do not trigger me. <laughs> she really said, oh my God. No way. So would you mind just coming with us? Don't trigger me. Okay. And not with her. Fine, you can go with I'm getting one. triggered. <laughs> Three, two, one. I'm triggered. <laughs> oh, God. Put that down for her. Why? So you can have a seat in the car? I can sit down with it. No, we it's need not to allowed in the back. Okay. Why? It's, it's not allowed in policy. the back of the cruiser. And can I have your little purse too? It's gonna break your own shit. Thank you. Do you have anything else on you? Just my phones to text my boyfriend. Okay, so you can't have a phone in the back of the car either. I okay, need we'll, him. Why'd you say it like that? Okay, we'll put it with your back, okay? No, you don't. Now. What the hell? He's not gonna come save you, he's a kid. He's 14. <laughs> oh, hopefully he's 14. Well, you guys are gonna rescue me. Oh, yeah, how's he gonna come help you? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, yeah. I need him! I what? It, even though she did! By threatening me! Here, just give me your phone for now. I only trust you with it. Okay, okay. I'll keep a hold of it. Go ahead and put your leg in. <laughs> This is 18-year-old Alexis, and the oh, police she's just put her in a car simply what the to fuck? detain her while they investigate her case. Why in the beginning she of video she says she was 14? She started with her older shit. neighbor and then aggressively knocked her to the ground twice. This is Yo, she's strong as hell! The suspect usually ends up in handcuffs, but Alexis... Yo, she knocked her all the way down! She shielded that motherfucker! You know, I can hear you! You can not let them touch my stuff. Okay, I'll take care of it, alright? Can you turn around and put your back <laughs> on? Because I'm asking nicely. She's 18 acting like a 14-year-old? There's no way she's 18. No! There's no <laughs> Holy crap! We'll get a hold of him, okay? He's in California! If you turn around for me, we can And he's that. a celebrity! What's his name? Joshua Joshua Okay. Yeah, he's my boyfriend. Okay, go ahead and turn around. No! Please. Don't make me uh, punch you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no! I never did anything. It's oh. self-defense. Okay, well, how about we put you in handcuffs first, and then no! we'll talk to you. I'm not being arrested! Well, you're threatening to punch me, so it's safer for me if we put you in handcuffs.
stuff. It's just for a little oh. bit. And it'll be just me. Okay? I don't want to be here. Okay. Well, that's why I'm trying to hurry this up. The quicker we do I this, the... I go back home. Okay, the quicker we do this, the quicker you can go home. So... Well, my parents kicked me out. And they don't want me back. You aren't putting me in handcuffs. Okay, so then do you want me to just be the one to do it? No one's doing it. Ma'am, here's the thing. I know you're not comfortable with men, okay? You knew, you do know my father, right? I'm not sure, but I know you're Stop. not Okay, so I know you're not comfortable with men, okay? I'm not comfortable with anyone. Just one thing. Her father is a police officer, and these officers know him, but that won't help Alexis at all. Okay, I understand <laughs> that, but you're less comfortable with men, so we don't want to have to put you in handcuffs. You're not going to. So, right now, you're only in trouble for the fight, okay? I but never did anything except to self-defense. Okay, and that's fine. I and mean, when it goes to court, then that's what will be shown, okay? But as of right now, that's She the only literally thing grabbed for. me by my hair and whacked me in the leg with a broom. Okay. And, if that's and the the case, threatened to throw away my stuff. Okay, and if that's the case, then in court that'll come out, okay? I'm not going there. But <laughs> if we try to put you in handcuffs because we have to, and you resist, and you want to fight us, and you don't let us do that, that's another charge. So, you're, you're, I'm just telling you your options. I'm going to treat you like an adult like you want to be treated, right? So, you are being arrested. You need to put your hands behind your back. No. Nope. Listen to me. I didn't cut you off. I've let you talk. If you... You put your hands behind your back, you'll go down, and it's just assault. If you resist, which you're doing now, you're going to get a resisting and instruction. And if you strike or hit or slap one of us, you're going to get a felony assault charge on us. Don't talk to me. Okay, I need to, though, okay? I'm not going to listen. Okay, but I'm at least going to try, okay? So, we have another officer coming, okay, and... It ends with you going in handcuffs regardless, okay? So what it comes down to is you have to be put in handcuffs, okay? And we I don't want to have to use... To. You do have to. You're Not making everything the is choice. a choice. Not everything is a choice, okay? Actually, it is. No. But the, the problem is, okay, we don't want to have to use force to put you in handcuffs. You want me to be the one to put you in handcuffs, or do you want four people to do it? Shut up. <laughs> I get caught, that could be a very serious charge. Yeah, I've done it before as a minor. Right, but you're not a minor anymore. <laughs> I don't have to. You do have to. So what's your plan? I could fight all of you all. I am okay. But you don't okay. need to. That's gonna I could get you if I had to. You but could. you don't have to. But you don't have to. But don't you dare. Turn around. Turn around and get your hands Here, go ahead and put your hands behind your back then. No. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. No. Oh! Oh! Ow! Ew! You're not hurting me. Oh, you should have gave us your hands. No! Oh, you're gonna break your hands! I'm gonna stop. <laughs> no! no. Oh. Oh, hold on! Hold on! Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Good. It's too tight! Good. <laughs> Restrain! So, in addition to assault, Alexis also earned charges for battery upon a police officer and resisting arrest. Oh, and God. Now another teenager who loves to steal, or shoplift to be more precise. Uh -oh. The girl suspected of shoplifting initially just appears entitled, but what follows will literally shock you. An employee of a clothing store called the police about a young girl stealing in the clothing store. The police quickly arrived and found the suspect in the parking Yo. lot just as she was leaving. She got the shoplifter starter pack going on. She got the bun that's half ass, the hair that's half ass with the t-shirt. She probably got some sweatpants on with some slides. Guarantee you some slides. If it's some slides, y'all gotta subscribe. The reason why I know that is because I used to work at a Walmart. What happened when you told me to put my- Please show the slides. Sweatpants is accurate. Nothing was taken? Please no. be slides. I left in there. Or flip flops. Please. Please. I'm not searching your vehicle. Please be slides. I am because the door's open. Do you need consent? It's called plain view. I haven't gone into your vehicle. But you, you didn't ask me either. It's open. I can look. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Slides? Yeah. I saw the bottom. window down, but can I close it for the heater? Huh? I rolled the window all the way no, down. Stay out. I asked you to stay outside. 
Okay, well, can you go buy me a jacket since I'm cold then, since I gotta stand outside? You can sit in the back of the car. I've never been, um... Just step out of the vehicle, okay? Sir, I know my rights. Okay, and we okay. asked you to stay out of the vehicle. I, I let you go vehicle. in you to get the look. vape, and then I'll you didn't come back right out. I'll call my lawyer right now if you want me to. Alright, step out of the vehicle. Bro. Can I get we my phone? We already asked you to step out of the vehicle. Okay? I'm allowed we to have my it. phone. We That's my right. We're in the process of an investigation. Okay, okay? you just searched me, right? You, you looked at my... Out of the Show car. the damn slot. Is it slides? Oh, wait, I think you're shooting. Crystal, get out of the car. Out of the car. You're not going to pull go. me out the car. Yeah, leave that. Damn it. The shoes. Dog, look at my wrist. Look at my wrist. Oh. Uh. <coughs> oh. Let go of my arm. Okay. If you guys subscribe for the effort, I love you. For what? Let's go. For our investigation. Let's go. What? Investigation? I want my lawyer. Okay, well, you can have one after we get done with our investigation. Go to your... Dog, quit pulling my arms like that. What the fuck? All you have to do is sit down and let, let go. Let go of my arm and I will. No, you sit Bro. down first. This is not a negotiation. All you have to do is well, sit down. Well, can you let go of my arms like and sit, sit the sit... down? This is not a negotiation. Once you sit down, I will let go of your arm. I'm not doing this, dog. I need a lawyer. You can't. <laughs> I'm charging you. I'm charging you. Okay. I have rights. Okay. And I know them. Okay, sit back. I need to get your seatbelt on. So I'm going to be detained. You are under arrest. For what? For stealing and There's fighting back way. and resisting arrest you and being annoying. Me like that, <laughs> I am touching your arm with the back of my hand. No, you're not. Did you see the way you've been grabbing me? Like, no. There's no way. Okay. After Crystal was arrested, the police searched her vehicle and found all the stolen goods, which they then returned to the store. The value of the merchandise was $560. Crystal is now heading to the police station, where during the interrogation, the officer will discover something more. Uh, every time. Not, not at this moment, no. I have a right to do that. You're guilty. Just give up. Just stop fighting back. Okay. I when am though. So. Do I'm so. doing everything you're asking me to, and you guys are treating me like throwing me on the floor. Because you're being an annoying. The f out of my wrist. I would never do that to you. See now, like I would never call a girl the b word. That's just one thing about me. Unless they really deserve it. Going to is not. I've never have to. I never have yes, had to do it. No, it is not. Look, just because you have a badge doesn't mean that I don't deserve just as much respect as you do. <laughs> <laughs> and quit grabbing my arm like I'm a There is one person I would have in mind though. Pulling away from me. Uh, listen to my me. fifth grade I ISS teacher. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm I am going to use the back of my hand and I am going to run it along the waistband of your uh, of your pants. Okay, go Do ahead. not reach. I'm trying to help you so no. I feel more comfortable. Just, no, I am giving you instructions. You are not giving me instructions. Just okay? because you're a cop doesn't mean as a woman. Okay. I deserve I to be touched by a woman, you to listen. not men. We don't have one available. You guys sexually harass me every time. Do you, did you not hear me say I'm using the back of yes, my hand? Yes, you said, okay, you are expected to make sure, yes. and then I could go? No, you're still you're still under arrest. What uh, else What else is in your What else is in your shirt there? Where? Like, do you want me to strip for you? You are not a woman. I'll I'm not, her. I didn't ask you to do that. I asked you to pull it's your- my respect as a woman. Okay, I'm not asking you to take off any articles of clothing. All I asked was for you to pull your your bra away it. from and your chest. Like, what else is in there? Okay, and it looks like something is protruding from the middle of your chest there. It's called a nipple, sir. No, not quite. a nipple in the middle of the chest. There's That's great. In the front of your chest, that is not part of the female anatomy. Let me show you, dog, because you're just not understanding. Look, pull my shirt. There's nothing there. Okay. So what is what is all of this 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 right here? Underneath that logo. This right here. Mm -hmm. Underneath the logo. It's mm -hmm. a bra. Look. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. So this is where you need to be honest, Crystal. Okay. Well, I can see that you have something inside of your shirt. Okay. Guys. You need to get it out now, or we're gonna get it out at the jail. So you need <laughs> to be honest, or we're gonna find out once we go to the jail anyway. Okay. Do you wish to answer my questions? Will you talk to me? Yes, can you negotiate with me? I'm gonna talk to you. Bro. Thank you. Did you pay for this item? Okay, so why would you have that inside of your bra? I'm just trying not to go back to jail again. I'm doing good, finally, like. All right, we're gonna go to the hospital, okay? Crystal. Turn around, put your hand behind your back for me, okay? 
It seems that Crystal was indeed hiding another stolen item under her shirt. Now, the officers are taking her to the hospital to get medical clearance, but there, Crystal suddenly changed her demeanor and started to create quite a show. Brace yourselves, this is going to be wild. Why does she get to go to the hospital? <laughs> the sacred ass in jail, what the fuck? I mean, they're about to save. Yo, a psychiatric ward, whatever the fuck? Bro, fuck that. An asylum? Oh. Yo, <laughs> hey, no, real quick, little mini game. If you were to get $12 million to spend a year in an asylum or a prison, which one are you picking? But it has to be like undercover. Nobody knows you're doing it for however much money. You're like actually like in there, in there. And you have to do like everything undercover. <laughs> Me personally, I'd probably pick the asylum. The uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 12 mil for a year? Me, please. I have a you this side of the you, you are still detained or under arrest, okay? So. Under arrest for what? Get off me. You already slammed me against the car and pulled my arms back crooked. Let go of me. No, I feel sexually harassed. Let go of my arm. Over there. I am, but let go of me. You you don't have a right to grab me like this. You're under arrest, Crystal. I don't give a that. I have my right. I have a right. Stand up. We can do this the hard way or the easy way. They're going to change you out, okay? I would like to change myself. They're going to do it because you're under arrest. For what? Let go of me! No. Let go of me! Bro. Well, now you can go back to the bank. Well, let go! You're squeezing my shit tight. What the wrong with you? Bro. I have a right! Now you have better. I Bro. Get off! Get off of my leg! Get off of me! I mean, I'm not gonna lie though. <clears throat> Being grabbed like that is, is, seems shocked. But like, she's just, she's just making it worse for herself. Stop! Go! Welcome to Flatiron School. This is where you learn how the future works. Where the whole point of let go of me! Bro. Let go of me. Let go of me. Yo. Let me go. No. <laughs> Yo. Crystal was charged <laughs> with shoplifting of goods valued between five hundred and twenty-five hundred dollars, which is a fourth-degree felony. Tampering with evidence, three counts of battery upon a peace officer, and two counts of resisting an officer. She failed to appear in court, so warrant for her arrest was issued. Bro. Um, she ran out of the house. Okay. Um, she's not allowed to do that. She knows that. Yeah. Um, refused to come in forever, so I had to come in. We got her in the house. I tried talking to her, telling her she's got to make good decisions. If she wants out of the group home, good way, not a bad way, by running and hitting people. She got up and she started assaulting all of us. Okay. We, we blocked it. I tried to talk her down. I tried everything. And finally I had to let her go. Out. Yeah. So we've just followed her this whole time to keep her safe. She tried to break into a garage with a man. I apologized to him. She's got a later. She found it on the ground. She was just said, I'm trying to. So. All right. She got arrested last week. I don't even know what day. Last Thursday. Last Thursday. She got All sent right. to Sargus. We have a contract with our company, so we took her back. All right. Um, she promised the judge she would not. He would not get another call, and here we are. What, okay. what do you think is going to happen I didn't, today? Didn't figure. You think you're just going to punch people, and it's, it's going to be fine? It's going to be cool? I didn't punch anybody. I pushed him out of the way so I can get out of the door. I didn't punch anybody. Okay, that's assault. I will do. You can't do that. Okay. Thank you. I'll go back and go to bed. Just I'm not going back to jail. <laughs> you assaulted us. I didn't assault you. I pushed just you out of the way so I can get out the door. Go Please, jail Stephanie. Mean that hey. you help. Okay. No, I'm not going back to jail. Please. Really, they're gonna get you help. I can't keep you safe. I can't keep the girls safe. I cannot keep my staff safe. I've done everything I can. Give me a lighter. 
just want to go back and go to bed, well, please. I, I told you we're past that. No, we're I, not. I, yes, we are. I want to go to bed. Come here. Please, Stephanie. Please. Stephanie. Don't touch me. Stop. Don't touch me. Stop, Stop Stephanie. Please. Please, Stephanie. This is the moment when Kaylee begins to show her true colors and becomes extremely aggressive. Assaulting staff at a juvenile center can be seen as more severe due to the nature of the facility and the vulnerability of both residents and staff. This could potentially lead to aggravated assault charges depending on the severity of the staff member's injuries or the specific circumstances of the incident. In addition to assaulting the manager of the juvenile center, she will also kick the responding officer and at one point she will also try to bite him. Get off of me! Get off of me! Bro! Get the off of me! Ow! No! No! Get off of me! I don't like males on me! Get off of me! Get off of me! Get off of me! Get off of me! Please! Please! Stop fighting me! Get off of me now! Get off! Stop. Yo. Get your hands around my neck. Get off of me. Stop. <laughs> Kaylee, we need you to, we need you to listen. He's gonna Stephanie. get you. Okay? No, he's not. Please. 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 I promise he's gonna go. No. You're hurting me. Stop it. You're still hurting me. No, you're not. Stop. Get off of me. No. I don't even have you anymore. <laughs> you're hurting yourself. Stop pulling away from me. Get off of me! You hurt me, you punched me in the face. Get off of me! Get off of me! Stop. Get off of me! Stop. No! No! Stop. My wrists are hurting, please! Hey, calm down and I'll help you out. Please, hurry. My wrists are hurting. I need you to calm down. My face hurts right now. I really... She's strong as a Yeah, and I, with juveniles, it's... You have to it's, be careful. We know. Yeah, and I'm... It's getting to that point where I was like... She went in a garage. She went in a second garage. She tried to get in three different homes. Two different homes. Was it two? It was like two or three. And I got in front of her, and she beat the out of me to See? get in front of her. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me go. Maybe she can spread the word. We do everything in our power to not call you guys. I got you. Like, they're children, and we, we're there trying to it's, change things, but... It's a hard situation, and you guys have going on. She was on three of us, and she hurt... I think she broke my arm last week, and I, I was like, guys, I can't do this no more, and I let her out, and I just kept her as safe as I could, but... Sully, like they gotta get rid of her, bro. Uh, bro. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Ah! Uh. <laughs> If we were out here last week, then she's got to go. She, well, I, my owner, because I'm just the office manager, mm -hmm. I, run, I run it, but the owner said we are not accepting her back. Okay. She's destroyed property. She has hit us. I want to kill so. Please, 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 please. God, please. Uh, yeah. Don't do that. Uh, uh, I'm not even going to talk about that. I'm going to fix them. I need you to calm down. I'm calm. Can you please no. just fix them? No, hey, hey. Can you please just fix them? You're really hurting. Okay, turn around. <laughs> jail please I can't help you anymore okay I will go back and go to bed I swear okay I will go to bed I just want to go to bed I'm tired All right. <laughs> What, Haley? Can you please take me to the hospital? Why? I want to myself. You told me earlier you didn't want to. 
I do. Okay, well, we're going to meet juvenile probation and they're going to decide what to do, okay? Please hold out my window. It's rolled down. No, it's not. Not all the way. I'm not rolling it down all the way. I can't breathe. You can breathe fine. Stop. I can't breathe. You're talking. You can breathe. Barely. I can't feel it, dummy. I don't care. Of course. If I die, it's on you. You're talking right now. You can breathe. I can barely breathe. I'm trying to tell you that. Please roll down my window. That's not going down any further. Why? Give me a reason. Because you're under arrest right now, and I don't want you sticking anything out the window. I'm in handcuffs. What am I going to do? I'll be dying in a car crash. Bro. Along with your family. Why would you say something like that? Stop! Alright, yeah, we're gonna stop with that. Oh, fucking hell. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below. You guys can use code Biz at checkout for 30% off on all your Gfield purchases. I actually drank this whole thing. I was drinking some rainbow sherbet this whole entire time. It's actually mad fire. This is probably in my top seven cans, not gonna lie. Remember just one thing. I love you all. There's only one of you. Peace. Go.